sound of an arrow hitting the dough. Gotta love it. Here on Fan.com TV, October 10th. Dope Man is part two. Let's go. October 8th, we're hunting inside a green field here. We got a lot of nut trees in here. Deer seem to be funneling down through here pretty good. We got a nice storm front moving in. It's about 40 degrees. Hopefully, deer will be in the
deer hunt guy. We are. I took this shot the deer was at 46 yards and with any long shot you run the risk of a deer ducking when you release your arrow or jumping the string and that's exactly what this doe did but I can't believe how much she dropped usually when I take a really long shot 40 or 50 yards I'll aim for just above the deer's heart this doe started dropping the second I released this arrow. She was a little bit on edge. I had a bleat to stop her. That's why she was alerted. And that's why she was able to drop so much. But watch this, how this progresses. The deer's here. Here comes the arrow. Deer starts to go down and there's impact. If the deer would have moved some, still would have been in business, but she just hit the floor. And what happened here, you can actually see the arrow I think it just went right through her back straps. Hit the top of her spine and, and actually on impact, the point of the arrow came out the other side and kicked up. So this deer is going to be just fine. But uh, it is kind of a bummer that she was able to, to get away from me like that, but that's part of hunting. And uh, I'm going to stick with it and make the next shot count. small doe with my bow for a shot of the season. Been on it for about uh, five days, six days now. And uh, it's 
thud. The sound of an arrow hitting the dough. Gotta love it. TheHunterFan.com TV. There it is, boys. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode, Dough Madness Part 2. I'm Brian Madison with DeerHunterFan.com TV, and we'll see you next week. DeerHunterFan.com TV is sponsored by 12 Point Property Management, Insane Archery, Timberland Realty, participating with Cabela's Trophy Properties, Outback Archery, FS Grow Mark, HuntingWNY.com, Sinclairville Superette and Hunter's Cafe, Bruin Outfitters, and Deer Run Cabin Rentals. We don't want to get the electronics wet, so I put the deer lure in with my water. We're going to mix two of them. I'd rather have it be that than the expensive electronics. Besides, could it really taste that bad?